What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more free run. Today, we're doing the final episode of season one. It has been an amazing journey. For those of you guys who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. Click the link in the top of the description. Enjoy that full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you like that format, check out that Patreon. You get that for every show, every movie there is out there. I appreciate you. Come on over to the Twitch. We're watching this live. Follow me on all my social medias. I appreciate y'all immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. Free run, episode 28. Let's do it. All right, this is episode 28. You get to see Denkin and everyone else's. Is that a young Denkin? He looks full of... He still is full of drive and ambition. But I do love his goal, just trying to see his wife's grave, you know? I would love to see a young Dankin as well. Someone without ambition would not be doing that, so. I mean, there's realisticness as well, you know. No one's going to be able to defeat. <laughs> see, there's still a fire there. I love that. I love that. Shout out, Dankin. W passing. W. You, Bill? I think Yubo deserves it from what we've seen from her. She's a very extraordinary talented mage. It's a clone. It's an illusion. Hey. I love that shot. There's no fucking shot. Oh my god. Oh hell no. Most combat experience makes sense. Made out of experience. Bro, I'm loving how every person passing or failing is for different reasons and oh, I love it. Completely different from Freerun's answer. Oh, this is amazing. We have so many people passing. Honestly, wasn't expecting it, but I love it because most of these people des absolutely deserve it, you know? Yeah, you thought different, huh? Yeah, three years is a long time, but you guys are already amazing mages. I have full faith in you guys. And now that we officially have Fern as a class one, we can go up north. Ooh. Cookies or pretzels? Cookies or pretzels? I'm going pretzels. Or whatever those baked goods on the left are. Laughlin is always eating sweets, just with Denkin as well. It's hilarious. And Denkin is very well off when it comes to money, so I like it. I love how delicate she be eating. <laughs> Those are such small little cookies. I love them. He has... Stark is so lost. He wasn't in this arc like at all. I love him so much. He still has PTSD from talking to fucking Graf, Gra Graf Granat like that. <laughs> He's like, you can get killed for talking bad to a noble. Do you know the grave he wanted? I don't know, it was when he was in his, his mid-20s, though. That's super sad. That was very young. That is sad. I could totally understand that. Some people who have the most power in the world still can't save those closest to them, you know? Classic tragedy. W. Duncan. W. Old Man. Yeah, 
I agree. Also makes me think of Himmel when it comes to inspiring people, you know? You can change a life by doing the smallest little thing, you know? Yeah. He's a good guy at heart. Yeah, when it comes to self-defense and protecting those you love, I get it, you know. Is there a spell in, you had in mind? Just for his uh, grand scheme of defeating the demons. それと関係ない場所でも困っているやつがいたらなるべく手を差し伸べるようにしているぜ。手の呼吸は汚い変形でな。うーん。You you have the stories that you read versus what actually influences and helps people, you know? I, I do like that, you know? Seeing his home village just destroyed. Yeah, those are like the grand stories, you know? Sometimes it just hits home, you know? Right? I love Himmel. I really enjoy Verbal. And I love that little story of how it's the less exciting stories I got Verbal to where he's at right now. Absolutely W mans. And I like how a lot of these parties that were formed specifically just for the first part of this exam, like they're still cool with each other, man. They're friends. That's deep. That's deep. That's the premise of this whole whole story. Treasure the encounters you get along the way. Cherish the time we have left. That's why Hemel's the goat, man. Hemel is the goat. Hemel's that, like, hero that we all need. She's noticing the after effects. Not even from the grand stories like defeating the Demon King. It's the small and significant things that are changing the world. I love it. <laughs> She's prohibited. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Oh. That's gonna be Fern, then. I am very curious what spell Fern's gonna want to learn from Siri, because she's only ever used just ordinary offensive magic. Crazy to think about that. Forget this guy's name. He's right under Siri. Learning. Learning is very nice when it comes to that. The only one he couldn't see was Siri's. That's so interesting to think about. I would love to see learning in action, man. I just said I wanted to see learning in action. But I did not want to see you go down in history as the infamous Freerin Mage Killer. What? This is not what I wanted at all. Right? Just like Flame said, stay humble. 
That's all that matters. That looks like a young learning. Even though she deems them all as failures because you want, as a teacher, your students to pass you up, she never forgets them. Even if they never made their mark on history. I like that cutting back to learning in this right now. Yeah, she can't even tell you that she feels like that. <laughs> I really enjoy for, uh, free run in the series relationship. And I'm very glad we did not fight learning. Self-awareness is, is incredible. You know, Siri is also just as awkward. Clothes are clean. What spell did she learn? Smell like daffodils? Is that really the spell you took? That's a legendary. Is it really or are we just trolling? Because that is a W spell, but... And of course, Free Rin, the random magic learner, would love that. He's like, I gotta learn a new spell to melt your clay. You know, like, I love Free Rin Infern. Yeah, she was expecting you to learn some level 5 legendary lightning spell or something. <laughs> oh, I love them. There are so many cool characters introduced in this arc. Imagine we get a time skip at some point where like Fern and all these people are adults. Like that'd be so cool. Mm. I love the transitions between present day and flashbacks, man. Oh, playing the ending right now. That's why. It's not really goodbye. I like it. That is a good point. If you... Damn, man. This show is so good. I'm over here having a tearful goodbye, man. God damn it. Little do you guys know. Absolutely fantastic for season, man. Can't get over that. It would be, I didn't even realize that was the title of this episode. God damn. That was a great finale to the season. Don't ask me why I'm emotional. It just so happens to be that I'm in one of those moods where I'm in a very emotional guy. But this, uh, this season, this episode, everything so far it's been built up is such a good show, you know? Like this, it's, it seems weird because there are so many people who have been like, I don't want to say the show is divisive because there are so many people, especially in the newer gen anime watchers who think the show is slow, not there's like no emotion in it. Like I've heard, I hear those complaints on TikTok and other places so many times when I think it's so much of the exact opposite. Like the show is paced exactly how it needs to be when it comes to talking about time, relationships, the journey, the side quests, the characters are so well thought out and fleshed out. I'm so invested. There's so many aspects of this that I just thoroughly enjoy. Like, it's, it's crazy to say that, like, the spectacular music and animation is just like the cherry on top. Like, purely just contextually, the story and the characters in, in, involved are like, there's, there's so many aspects about the show that are S tier. It's, it's, it's crazy. But I am utterly anticipating season two even if it necessarily doesn't live up to the quality of this season, because I know this one was a very special circumstance where a lot of animation veterans came in to do this season, but absolutely amazing first season, Free Run. I will miss you, and I'm glad I got to experience you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like on this video. Check out that Patreon if you guys want to continue the full lengths. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with me. It's such a vibe watching this with you guys live. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.